What's up, y'all? It's your boy Raj, aka Life of Little Raj, back with another video for you guys today. So, today we'll be doing another double unboxing. Today we will be a little bit more America themed. Front door. So, we have two models here. So, we have the Military Classics by Aero Classics in the 1 to 400 scale. So basically this is Truman's Air Force One. And then we also have a DC-9. So this DC-9 kind of is supposed to be like the Red Cross type of aircraft. So with that being said, nothing too much else to add. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So without further ado, let's prepare for takeoff. So we'll start off here with the DC-9. So this model is by SMA Models. I'm not sure what SMA stands for, but here looking at the box, we have a nice, decent to nice box here. So we got the Douglas logo here outlining the model. And then you can see the model through the plastic here. So that's pretty good here. Nice detail moving to the back here. Uh, it's pretty basic here. It just mentions the model. So DC-9 and then you have your 30 dash or slash 40 slash 50. So this box is kind of beaten up a little bit. It's another used model that I have. Um, this model I also bought from the guy who was selling all his models. So his wife could go buy shoes. So what a nice guy. That wife better keep him. Um, but moving along here, looking at the other side here, so we have on the side basically where it says Douglas DC-9 and you have again 30 slash 40 slash 50. You also have some details here with the colors from the logos like the red and then the navy darkish blue looking thing. So down here you see we have SMA logo, then the website wwwsma dash models.com you can see in the background here where it says fly DC jets and then you have the Douglas logo there looking at the right side here it's pretty much the same as the left side here with the colors here the stripes and then the other information and then here you can see here we have more information here where it says like 1 to 400 scale and then there's information where it's like a collectible model, the warning, because it contains small parts, unsuitable for children under 14. And then you can see also the price here, and then like the description of the aircraft. So this is Maddie back, and then it's the US Air Force C9. So uh, the price here, it says 80 bucks, but like I mentioned, the guy who was selling these models bargained a lot. So I was able to get a lot of these for a lot cheaper than the prices that he had put on the box I know like especially going to the last day or like the second to last day there was like some models where he was giving me up to like almost half off since I bought a whole bunch of models from him so he cut me a lot of discounts which was great I was able to save a lot of money and get a lot of models so I was like the joke He's happy because his wife is happy, and his wife is happy because she has money to buy shoes, and I'm happy because I got a whole bunch of models to add to my collection. And also I get to show all these models to you as well. So anyway, moving on to the actual unboxing now, we'll go ahead and get into it now. Less talky, more action. So here we have the model. and set her down here. So we can go ahead and start at the front of the model here. So here you can see we have our nose where it's kind of blackened out here. 
And then we got the landing gear, then the nose landing gear, our cockpit windows. These cockpit windows have the little eyebrow windows as well. We got our L1 door. So if we look here, you can see for the nose gear and like the doors for the nose gear. We got the red stripe there. Uh, then there's not much other detail there aside from the red stripe. But moving along, we got our cockpit windows. So these cockpit, or not cockpit windows, but cabin windows. So you can see these cabin windows are kind of whited out with the exception of one of the here for the cargo door entry. But moving along, we have here where it says the United States Air Force. So we got two exits over the wing. You can see looking at the wing, we have good detail here so you can see the arrows pointing where to exit off the aircraft in case of emergency we also got our u.s air force logo on the wing there is good detail here with all the different colors and you can see the indentations onto the wing to represent and show like the air brakes and spoilers and such looking at like the front part well the front side of the wing so there's good detail here as well like all the indentations as well on the wing we also have here where you can see it's a little bit blurry but you can see the red dot here to like show the red light on the wing as well moving to the back of the aircraft you have our engines here and before the engines we have where like the windows, the, the cabin windows, there's more windows so these aren't like blocked out like towards the front of the aircraft where they were blocked out. But going back and looking at the engines here, so we do have the US Air Force logo again here. And then looking at the tail of the aircraft here, we have the numbers here. So we have 22 or 22583 and we have the Red Cross and above the Red Cross we have the United States flag. So this is it. Kind of similar to the other aircraft, like the Air Force One aircrafts that I have, aircraft that I have reviewed where it just has like numbers for like the 26,000 and such. So this one is just 22,583. So I'll readjust the camera here uh, we can look at the top here so you can see the horizontal stabilizers there's good color differences it's a little bit more difficult to see the indentations I think I can kind of see it with my eye but looking at the camera the way the light bounces off of it it's hard to see the indentations or maybe uh, what I'm seeing with my human eyes are just scratches. It's a little bit difficult to see compared to the wings. So moving along to the right side of the aircraft here, not too much of a difference really to say. Maybe some markings of like the different instruments and such. And then looking at the wing on the right side, there is a difference here. So here it says USAF. So that's the United States Air Force. That's different word. On the other side, it was just the logo. And then moving along to the front, nothing too much of difference, significant difference either. And then we can move along to the front here. So the front here is so the nose here is like a black tip which I mentioned earlier and we can take a look at the roof so the roof is is kind of like where there's not a lot of thing anything sticking out like antennas or such it just has the dot red dot to represent the lights at the top of the aircraft and not too much other detail aside from like 
kind of the top or like the front or we had the eyebrow windows for the cockpit windows. So looking at the bottom part of the aircraft or the undercarriage of the the aircraft here we have a little bit of detail so there's good detail towards the back of the aircraft you can see like all the instruments and such at the back you can see like the colors of the engines but then it just maintains that dark gray color throughout the entirety of the fuselage up to the front until the nose where we have that black tip and then there's some detail here of the doors where the nose gear folds up there isn't as much detail for the landing gears the main landing gears but you can also see where there's the other cargo hatch hatches kind of it was hard to see like it fades into the aircraft so it's hard to see from further away but at the bottom of the cargo hatch is pretty much a lot clearer and clearly outlined and such so also at the middle there's a hole for a stand and looking at the underbody you can see on the wings there's good detail there the indentations are very easy to see uh no doubt about that and then you can see we have also like the u.s air force logo and that's all it typed out the initials so u-s-a-f as well So now I'll let you guys kind of see the aircraft from all these sides now. So here we have it from the left side. This is from the rear. And here we have it from the right side. And then lastly, but not least, we have it from the front. So moving along to the next model here. So here we have the Aero Classics. You can see up top it says Military Classics. And then there is a classic see-through covering here. So you can see our next model we'll be reviewing. So this one is supposed to be the Air Force one that carried Truman back in the day way before I was born and probably most of you who are watching this video with that being said the rest of the box at the front so aero classics and then the one to 400 scale looking at the back there's nothing much it's just continuing along with this theme or paint scheme of the box so looking at the left side here we have where it says the adult collectible model you have your warning again for small parts not suitable for children under 14 years of age at the bottom is just a paint scheme nothing too interesting same with the top and on the right side we have the price which i did get a discount on like i've mentioned numerous times already in the video so and here we have where it's marked truman air force one also, we have where it says Aero Classics Online, and then we have our link for the website, basically. So I'm pretty sure the W is hidden behind the sticker, but it's www.aeroclassics.net. So it's kind of interesting. This one here, it says .net. I never actually noticed that before. But with that being said, we'll go ahead and get into the unboxing here. Can see our model here this plane is probably one of the older ones in my collection i think this is the first one where i have where it's more like the turboprop engines instead of the modern day engines
So I'll go ahead and set the model down here. Put the box on the side for now. And so I'm gonna kind of shield the light with my hand so it doesn't reflect as much. But we can go ahead and start at the front of the aircraft here. So let's see if that makes a difference. Not or maybe not. We'll see. But basically here we have the front of the aircraft here. So we have our cockpit windows, then below we have the nose gear. And then here at the front we have where it says the independence. I know it's a little bit difficult to read. But there we have where it says the independence moving along. We have the wings so you can see on each side there's two turboprop engines with the propellers. The propellers do spin so you gotta be a little bit careful though because they're a little bit sensitive. Don't want to break anything but they you can see they, they do spin. Moving along to the wings so there's good detail on the wings. You can see where we have the US Air Force logo with the stripes and the star and the banner. This wing is interesting because you can see or not interesting but good detail here with the different colors. So you have the stripes from the the engines where the engines are and the stripes afterwards. There's also good detail where you can see all the indentations of like the speed brakes and such. I'm not sure if these are speed brakes there, but they're like used to control the lift and direction of the aircraft. Moving along here, so we have some good detail here of like the independence, the dark blue color, and then it becomes a lighter blue color, but you got your wings basically kind of, I don't know how else to describe it, not like actual, the actual wing part, but like the design paint scheme of the wings and then we have the co the cabin windows I don't know why I keep saying cockpit windows but they're the cabin windows so this plane is an older one so these windows are more square looking than rectangle looking and then moving to the back we have the rear door we got some more detail here it's difficult to see what it is, but it's so good de attention to, to detail. Then after the door we have some more cockpit windows, then again we have the US Air Force logo with the star and the, the banner. So moving along go to the tail, so we have that old plain tail design, and then we have our registration, so if the camera will focus, which it doesn't want to do. I'll zoom out and then bring the model closer to you guys so you can read it. We have here where I believe it says 6 505. And then on the tail, you can see basically it kind of goes along with the same design at the front of the, the aircraft with the, the wings that wing or like bird type feathers. So looking at the back of the aircraft here, you can see the horizontal stabilizers. There's good detail of the indentations of the horizontal stabilizers. Moving to the right side, uh, there's not too much of a difference. There's good detail here. We can see at the bottom, basically the cargo hatch or another hatch that's not on the left side. And then same detail with the wings and such. So on this aircraft, there's no initials of the US Air Force on the wing. But with that being said, you have your more detail here. You can see the door at the front on the right side here. And then we got our paint scheme here. I didn't realize before it kind of looks like a face or like a bird, basically. And yeah. So going back to the left side, comparing the left side to the right side in differences. There's a door on 
this side you can see like the last part of the independent the word independence you can see the frame for the the door or the outline of the door and on the left side can't really see a frame for a door so yeah looking at the top next there's not much detail here it's just the paint scheme basically nothing sticking out and there's also no visible lights either we'll go ahead and flip the model to the underside here zoom out a little bit to get a whole view of the plane so we don't have much in terms of like paint scheme uh, the only paint difference here aside from like the chrome underbody is basically the stripes from where the engines are at there's good detail in like indentations on the model for the wings and the horizontal stabilizers and then here you can get a view of the nose gear as well as the main landing gears and the underbody as well in terms of detail we have the the logo again so like the star and the banner but that is pretty much it for for detail of the underbody with that being said now i'll let you guys have a look from all the different sides so we'll start with the left side and then from the back then from the right side and lastly we can do it from the front so that about wraps it up for this video nothing too much else to add i figured i'd do a u.s air force themed video today kind of group them together as i finish up the last few models from airliners international i got about five models maybe six models left to review i have five here i have one model that i didn't purchase that's at my work area at the airport so maybe if i get time and there's no one around i'll make a video on that model but back to this and these models here so we have our u.s air force themed models here but that being said thank you guys so much for watching we're so close to 100 subscribers and with that being said make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks